Number three, you're going to state if the three sides of the length here forms a right triangle. And we know for it to form a right triangle, what has to be true is that the A squared, which is a leg squared, plus the B squared, which is the other leg, has to be equal to C, which is the hypotenuse. All right? So this equation has to be true for it to be a right triangle. Okay? All right. So... We are just going to apply this formula and to see if it holds true. A can be equal to 12, B is equal to 9, and C is equal to 15. Let's plug it in. 12 squared plus 9 squared is equal to C, which is equal to 15 squared. Okay, plug this into the calculator. 12 squared is 144 plus 81 is equal to 15 squared which is two to five. Let's see if this adds up. 144 plus 81, that is equal to two to five. So two to five does equal to two to five. This holds true, so this is a right triangle, okay? Because it is equal. A squared plus B squared does equal to C squared. Here's the equation from before. Let's plug in the values. A can be equal to 10, B can be equal to two radical 39 and C equals to 16. Okay, 10 squared plus parentheses 2 radical 39 close the parentheses squared is equal to 16 squared. When you make that substitution, make sure you put it in a parentheses. This is 100. If you plug this into a calculator, it should be 4 times 39. Let me double check here. 2 radical 39 squared. It is 4 times 39, right? Yep. So 156 is equal to 16 squared, which is 256. 256 does equal to 256. So this is also a right triangle, okay? Let's do this one, which is C. Here is our equation. A squared plus B squared equals to C squared. A can be equal to 9, B can be equal to radical 115, and C can be equal to 11. 9 squared plus parentheses square root 115 squared is equal to 11 squared. This is 81 plus 115, and this is 11 squared, which is 121, okay? 81 plus 115 is 196. And that is not equal to 121. So this is not a right triangle, okay? So there you go. That is how you determine if any three sides on a triangle makes a right triangle or not.